Good evening, guys. Thank you very much for joining in. So what is we what is that that we have in agenda today? That is something that we really want to cover, and I'm pretty sure you all are excited off with is the IFRS. IFRS padenge, IFRS ke baare mein samjhenge, IFRS ko bilkul aur bilkul detail mein cover karenge aaj hum. But before we really get on over there, what is the first thing that you would want to have from me? I'm sure is about my introduction. Guys, my name is Pankaj Dhingra and I'm a qualified chartered accountant and a CPA from US. I have been working with various corporates. Various corporates means, you know, in last 20, more than 20 years, I've, I've worked with almost four corporates. I started off my journey with the Cargill Foods. I moved on to Wipro and when I left Wipro, I was the head of finance over there. I was heading their controllership as a function. I moved to BlackRock to head their finance and I worked there as the director of finance handling their entire APAC as a region and of course India as an entity. Then I moved on to Boston Consulting and I headed their finance in India and of course at the same time I was handling their global finance operations per se what they really wanted to build on and of course get on onto the Indian front. And while I was doing all of that, I have been categorically very much involved in teaching and of course training and, and of course mentoring various various professionals across the world. And that is how I'm here, my friend, taking you to the IFRS as to what the IFRS is. Jab hum log chartered accountancy kar rahe the, jab hum logon ne CA kare, then that point in time, these things were not that common and thought not that we were aware of anything, something, something like that. But now. Now is the time, my friend, to really think about various things that are really coming your way. And one of the things that you must be hearing out and you must be aware of right now, that is something being heard, being, being spoken on, and of course, being, being, uh, being the talk of the town is the IFRS. Many of the folks have been talking on the IFRS and we, as the learning providers, we get many queries, many questions from various students across the globe, understanding as to what the IFRS is all about. That was the reason, you know, we thought that it is all the more a good reason for us to really come on the screen and talk on ki IFRS bache hota kya hai. Hum thoda sa samjhenge isko bilkul grassroot level se and I categorically made my presentation very simple for you. Isme hum bilkul technical baate nahi karne wale hai. Hum IFRS ke andar bilkul nahi jayenge in terms of, you know, what those sections and what those standards are. But I really wanted to give you a perspective ki IFRS bache hota kya hai. Just to give you a color ki IFRS अगर आपके सामने दोबारा आता है तो यू नो व्हाट कलर ऑफ स्पीशी दैट इज ताकि आपको पता हो कि ये होता ये है और इससे बेनिफिट ये हो सकता है सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस दैट आई रियली हैव बीन हैविंग एंड ऑफ कोर्स आई हैव हर्ड मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर यू नो आस्किंग दिस आई मीन नॉट ओनली टू मी बट यू नो ऑन द सोशल मीडिया ऑन द वेरियस प्लेटफॉर्म्स आई रियली वांट टू आई वुड से स्टार्ट ऑफ द सेशन विद दैट जस्ट टू गिव यू सम कलर ऑफ इट द पहला क्वेश्चन जो सब बच्चे पूछते हैं कि आईएफआरएस सर होता क्या है इसे करने के फायदे क्या हैं मेरी सीवी में वैल्यू क्या ऐड होगी एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ बहुत कॉमन क्वेश्चन है बहुत कॉमनली पूछा जाता है वी विल डेफिनेटली गेट इनटू द नर्व्स ऑफ इट एक और चीज जो बहुत सारे बच्चे पूछते हैं एंड आई एम श्योर वो कहीं ना कहीं आपके मन में भी रहा होगा या रहेगा इज अबाउट व्हाट इज द स्कोप ऑफ आई एफ सर सुनना तो बहुत है सुनते भी बहुत हैं कि आई एफ हो आई एफ इंप्लीमेंट करना है ये कंपनी आई एफ करती है ये कंपनी आई एफ में ये कर रही है ये प्रोफेशनल ये कर रहा है एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ बट आई एफ का अगर मैं करता हूँ तो इसका स्कोप कुछ है एंड द काइंड ऑफ कंपनीज दैट वी हैव इन इंडिया आर दे रियली कंप्लाइंग ऑफ विद आई एफ आर एस और नॉट दैट इज समथिंग दैट इज वेरी प्रोमिनेंट एंड वेरी कॉमनली हर्ड अमंग्स द स्टूडेंट एज द फर्टिनिटी विल टॉक ऑन दैट विल गेट इन द डिटेल्स ऑफ इट Another thing that I hear out, and I'm sure you, that must be really, really fumbling on onto your mind is, "Kis mujhe India se aata hai, sir? Sir, maine to Indian CA shuru kari, sir. Mujhe India sikhaya gaya, maine India sikha. Ab mere ko India se aata hai, to kya IFRS usse similar hone wala hai, ya alag hone wala hai, ya kya hai, sir? Bahut sare, bahut sari jagah ye suna jata hai ki India jo hai, wo IFRS se kafi similar hai. To kya hai, bilkul same rahega, ya different rahega, and so on and so forth. Bilkul aate hain uspe bhi, uspe bhi baat karenge." Then I have given my CA final, sir. I have given my CA final. Now, of course, I have time. I am waiting for the result. Is this the time? I have to start learning IFRS. I should do it. I should do it. Is it the time? 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 Is
आई हैव दी नॉलेज ऑफ आई आई कुछ हमारे साथ ऐसे बच्चे जुड़े होते हैं जो आई एफ आर एस प्रैक्टिकली कहीं ना कहीं कर रहे होते हैं बिकॉज दे आर इन द बिग फोर्स और दे आर इन सम ऑफ द एम एनसीज तो वहां पर वो ऑलरेडी आई एफ आर एस की प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं या काम कर रहे हैं देन द क्वेश्चन इज दैट डू डे रियली नीड टू हैव सम काइंड ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन ऑन टू दैट आई एफ आर एस या वो जो काम कर रहे हैं वो इट इज गुड एंड आई वुड से इट इज गुड टू गो देर इज नथिंग एक्स्ट्रा दैट दे रियली नीड टू वॉक ऑन द पाथ टू गो फॉरवर्ड ऐसा भी कुछ है कैसा विल टॉक ऑन दैट टू एंड देन वॉट ऑल आर द सर्टिफिकेशन बींग अवेलेबल इन द आई एफ आर एस किस तरह की सर्टिफिकेशन अवेलेबल है सर आप उसके बारे में कुछ बताइए तो उसके बारे में बात करेंगे हम लोग एंड देन बहुत सारे बार बच्चे ये क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं एंड आई एम श्योर कहीं ना कहीं हर बच्चे के मन में ये सवाल आता है कि सर मैं क्या कर पाऊंगा आई एफ आर एस को मैं ये अगर कोर्स लेता हूँ या मैं कोर्स करता हूँ तो विल आई बी एबल टू क्वालिफाई इट विल आई बी एबल टू डू दैट इन दी फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ विल टॉक ऑन दैट एंड देन वॉट इज दी पास परसेंटेज ऑफ 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 डिप आई एफ आर एस विल टॉक ऑन दैट टू एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीज वट आई हैव बीन हियरिंग अ लॉर्ड एज इन डेज वर्स इज आई एफ आर एस विच इज समथिंग आई रियली टच अपॉन बट इफ आई स्टडी आई एफ आर एस अब मेरे को इन डेज नहीं आता मैंने आई एफ आर एस पढ़ना शुरू किया सर तो क्या मेरे को इन डेज समझ में आने लगेगा क्या मेरे को इन डेज भी सपोर्ट मिलेगी एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ मैंने कुछ क्वेश्चन यहां निकालने की कोशिश करी है यहां डालने की कोशिश करी है जो मुझे समझ में आता है कि बहुत सारे बच्चों के कॉमन डाउट्स होते हैं बट If there is anything more that really come on to your mind and really come on to your way, please feel free to comment on the comment box, you know, of this video. We'll definitely pick it up in the end, and we'll try answering that too. Presentation that we have thought of that we would be covering in the in the coming one hour or so. Of course, intended to cover all of these questions. जो आप यहाँ देख रहे हैं, हम इन सब के आंसर ढूंढने की कोशिश करेंगे, इन सब के आंसर लाने की कोशिश करेंगे ताकि आप तक वो इंफॉर्मेशन पहुंच जाए जो आपको चाहिए बट वाइल डूइंग दैट वी विल सर्टनली बी टॉकिंग ऑन वेरियस अदर थिंग्स दैट आर रिलेटेड टू द आई फॉर एस दैट आर रिलेटेड टू योर करियर दैट इज रिलेटेड टू योर ग्रोथ फ्रॉम द फ्यूचरिस्टिक स्टैंड पॉइंट एंड आई एम श्योर इफ देर इज एनीथिंग दैट मे कम योर वे एज अ डाउट एज अ कंसर्न और एज अ क्वेश्चन देन प्लीज फील फ्री टू आस्क इन देर एंड देन विल बी हैप्पी टू आंसर दैट टू शेल वी नाउ जम्प इन एंड किक स्टार्ट द जर्नी of understanding the ifrs is yes sir let's just jump in the first thing first my friend has to be has to be the agenda for the day agenda for the presentation that we have been coming you have that is coming your way and the first thing first is that we will understand as to what the ifrs is all about कौन सी स्पीशी है सर क्या है सर थोड़ा सा रोशनी डालो विल टॉक ऑन दैट विल सर्टनली टॉक ऑन द स्कोप ऑफ आई एफ आर एस आई रियली वॉन्ट अ फेन डाउन दैट आई रियली वॉन्ट अ शो यू सर्टन थिंग्स ऑन दैट विल टॉक ऑन दैट टू विल टॉक ऑन यू नो वाई शुड इज चार्ट अकाउंटेंसी स्टूडेंट और ए क्वालिफाइड चार्ट अकाउंटेंट शुड बी थिंकिंग अबाउट thinking about doing ifrs we'll touch upon that and then is there any certification being available we'll we'll talk on that we'll there are multiple i would say certifications that are there we'll circle that out we'll see as to what those are and what kind of certification you'd be should be thinking about we'll talk on that and then what all are the options available from the standpoint of ifrs certification and you know if that is what it is then you know what one should be doing in that regard is that certification really required or not we'll talk on that and last but not the least is of course after covering all of that and of course after covering the question that i just mentioned uske baad bhi koi question hai bacche to usko bhi uthayenge aur usko bhi answer karne ki koshish karenge moving on my friend what is i for us dekho bacche aisa hai hum sab ne kisi na kisi shape and format mein accounting standard to padhe hi hain ya hum padhenge unhe jo naye bacche hain jo abhi aaye hain chartered accountancy world mein वो अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स को पढ़ेंगे जो हमारे पुराने बच्चे हैं जो मेरे जैसे हैं उन्होंने अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स को कहीं ना कहीं पढ़ा है मैं बिल्कुल लेमिन टर्म्स में बताऊं बच्चे विदाउट इवन सीइंग ऑन दिस स्लाइड इमेजिन माय फ्रेंड यू आर एन इंडियन कंपनी एंड वांट टू अक्वायर ए यूएस कंपनी बट यूएस कंपनी तो ऑफकोर्स यूएस फाइनेंशियल बनाती है और यूएस फाइनेंशियल लॉस के अकॉर्डिंगली बनाती है यूएस फाइनेंशियल स्टैंडर्ड्स के अकॉर्डिंगली बनाती है बिल्कुल ठीक बात है इंडियन कंपनी तो इंडियन अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड के हिसाब से बनाती है बिल्कुल ठीक बात है सर अब जब यूएस कंपनी को या इंडियन कंपनी को यूएस कंपनी एक्वायर करनी है फॉर दैट मैटर द फाइनेंशियल ऑफ बोथ द कंट्रीज आर वेरी मच डिफरेंट बिकॉज ऑफकोर्स दे फॉलो द डिफरेंट अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड डिफरेंट रूल्स एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ 
can you do the comparison can you do the acquisition basis the financials do you not really need the understanding as to what has gone behind the numbers yes sir that is one of the biggest biggest reason the lawmakers the regulators the g20s of the world the world banks of the world they all wanted us to have the single language for the books of accounts and that's where the international financial reporting standards really really took the heat on they wanted one accounting standard to be followed across the world which will resolve not only the concern of the comparability but it will also help you understand the financials it will also help you create the more transparency across the world of the entities that you may have in different geographies and so on and so forth that is why the ifrs really came into picture that is why they really wanted ifrs to be there IFRS stands for the International Financial Reporting Standard. I would say to be ACA, the common accounting language to be used across the go across the globe, primarily to ensure that you have one accounting standard being followed in all of the geographies. That was the theme. That was the mantra this got started off with. But one thing that really happened, and of course, it is still I would say evolving to an extent, is that even as of now. we have 140 countries who have taken up ifrs as their own set of accounting standards they are not doing the local national i would say level standards they are following the ifrs there are still some more countries which have we have to which they have which have to implement or have to accept or have to really go forward with the ifrs per se but imagine my friend we have 140 countries currently living and doing ifrs and that is one of the prominent reason you would for, you would find the ifrs really taking the heat really taking the heat in the corporate world because many of the uh, companies many of the countries who are following the ifrs need the ifrs trained professionals that is one of the reason you would find companies now really asking for the ifrs trained professionals and that is how the demand is really going up Take it any big four, my friend. Take it any MNC who has the existence in one of these 140 countries would have to deal with the IFRS, and that is one of the reason you would now see India slash IFRS in any job requirement that may come your way. Is that clear? Yes, sir. In a layman's language, as I said, it is the accounting standard having the global recognition. I would say 140 countries is too big a number, my friend. for you to get recognized on accounting standard we all know are the guidelines and the standards i just wanted to define that just to ensure that we are not missing on that but it is being issued by the expert accounting body and again i'm not getting on who is issuing ifrs and so on and so forth i'm really not getting in there my whole intent is to make you understand as to what the ifrs are and how they are getting more and more prevalent more and more relevant for the student as a fraternity for you as a professional and for us as professionals is that clear yes sir moving on we have the different accounting standard just wanted to have this slide to just give you a sketch of you know how the overall standards would look like we have indias my friend then we have the us gap or the statement of financial accounting you know con concept standards whatever you want to call it then you have the ifrs my friend which is being recognized in the europe and the rest of the world you may have some local uh, i would say standards also for you know which are prevalent in those local countries i have not mentioned over here but that's i would say is the overarching flare or the layer of the accounting standard that you may see across the world that we have of course the us gap that is being followed in the us continent and then you have the ifrs which is being followed in europe and the rest of the world which has adopted ifrs as their means of accounting standard for their own local and global reporting is that clear yes sir now why ifrs you know we have really touched upon that ki ifrs ki zarurat kyun hai hame you know of course agar hum global world ko aaj ek global village janne lage hain ya manne lage hain to is global village mein har jhopdi के अंदर जो अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड होना चाहिए वो सेम होना चाहिए यू नो इट्स मोर लाइक यू शुड हैव दी सेम फ्लेवर ऑफ अकाउंटिंग अक्रॉस द ग्लोब टू मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव दी सेम अंडरस्टैंडिंग अक्रॉस द ग्लोब ऑफ फाइनेंशियल्स एंड दैट इज द रीजन यू हैव टू हैव द यूनिफाइड स्टैंडर्ड्स अक्रॉस द ग्लोब दैट्स द मंत्रा दैट्स द रिजीम 
that is something we all are aspiring to have how much would that be in the coming i would say years 140 is a too big number my friend in terms of you know what they have really achieved and i'm pretty sure the way they're progressing on you would see ifrs being implemented i would say across the globe now, considering that, my friend, we have the global standards for the global market. That is something that we are aspiring for. Again, the need is for better comparison, for enhanced understanding, for more transparency. And of course, in the end, you should be able to really put, a, put your finger on and say that, yes, this is what it is. And this is what I understand. This is what the standard says. Anybody and everybody should be able to say that in that manner at that point in time. That can only happen, my friend, if all of us study the same standards, know the same standards and implement the same standards. That is what the IFRS is all about. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Moving on, what is the benefit of the IFRS? I think we have covered that at length. It certainly helps you generate and have more transparency, more accountability. You would certainly be more accountable if you do not have any information gap. One would certainly be more efficient. Efficiency will definitely improve if you're really helping your investor identify various opportunities in the risk across the world which you can only and only do if you are able to make your information as much as relevant for them or as much as transparent for them is that clear yes sir coming on to the scope this is something you know you would hear every time and i have been to various sessions across the globe on the ifrs i can tell you this is one thing that has been discussed at length everywhere ki sir scope kya hai for iska sir hame samajh mein aata hai sir common language hai sir global standard hai sir indian accounting standard sirf india ke liye hai sir ye global hai sir bahut achhi baat hai sir sab kuch samajh mein aata hai bilkul clear hai scope kya hai sir iska hame fayda kya hoga sir isse acha bachche ek baat karte hain aap kisi bhi company mein jao aaj ki date mein kisi bhi company ko join karo beat any kya wo company sirf india mein hai ya uska business sirf india mein hai या वो सिर्फ इंडिया में बिजनेस करते हैं इंडिया से बाहर बिजनेस नहीं करते या इंडिया से बाहर बिजनेस करना नहीं चाहती है ऐसी कंपनीज हैं हर कंपनी हर कंपनी फॉर दैट मैटर रियली वांट टू गो ब्रॉड रियली वांट टू गो मोर ब्रॉडर इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर बिजनेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर आउटरीच इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर एक्सपेंशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर क्लाइंट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर वेंडर्स एंड व्हाट नॉट इन ऑर्डर टू डू दैट यू हैव टू हैव द ग्लोबल स्टैंडर्ड्स बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड इन योर कंपनी the way you would see those particular geographies being working out if that is the case would you not want to have ifrs being implemented for your company answer would be yes sir if that is the if that is the case if that is the reason would you not need ifrs professionals who understand what the ifrs is and who are able to implement ifrs for you answer is double yes if that is the case don't you think the scope for you to be in the ifrs field really enhances and really go multifold triple yes sir it is the basic my friend if you know something that is really coming up in a big time way then early you board that better you are we know that we have 140 countries who have implemented ifrs and they're really doing fine and they're really really doing what they're doing you know that the scope or the number of countries are going to be going up we know that we are in entering into the era wherein we have the multinational companies being floated there and then every time any time we would see these kind of companies being coming on to india outside india and what not we know that global business organizations are being set up across the globe then what is one reason that you could give me that why would you not see the expansion of the ifrs professionals across the world there is no reason my friend there has to be an increase in scope there is an ever increase in scope that is there from the ifrs standpoint as far as the requirement of the professional is concerned and i guess i can tell you one thing you know the one thing that really surprised me today i was you know just changing few of the things onto this presentation today in the morning and one thing i just did was i just went on to the google.com and i just typed in over there ifrs jobs i would really want you to just go and 
just plug in your google.com and if you are online right now at this point in time and you're there on the google just type ifrs job and press enter you would be astonished my friend seeing the number of job opportunities that are there for the ifrs professionals in some way or the other organizations are asking for the ifrs knowledge for you to have it for you to be given the kind of job role that they have on their plate in fact i can tell you i implemented ifrs almost 10 years back in the organization i was there at that point in time that point in time what we did when we were doing and implementing ifrs was that we didn't know anything we read the you know the, the context the the text we took the help of the big four and we implemented that but now situations have really changed one of course big four has really gone i would say in a bigger way in terms of implementing ifrs for the companies or managing ifrs for the company but at the same time companies have started understanding that they do not only need the accounting professionals but they need professionals who have the global knowledge of the standard so they can they can really appreciate and implement what is really needed and that is the reason you would see any job and every job right now that is being published would certainly have ifrs us gap and so on so forth being there as one of the desired desired uh, trait that they would need to have from the i would say potential candidate that is the reason my friend the scope of ifrs is really going multifold and i really want you really request you to go and type the ifrs job on the google.com right now at this point in time and tell me how many openings you see you will be surprised my friend the kind of openings you have it's amazing that's how the scope has been that's how the scope has been increasing it is globally recognized we have spoken enough on that we have the huge opportunities of working in the global companies you certainly have the overseas career opportunities just see around the corner in your company you would find ifrs professionals being posted abroad being posted in europe being posted in middle east being posted in australia and so on and so forth you have that kind of an opportunity if you are there from the standpoint of this competencies being being available in you it is certainly in demand in various mncs and of course the big fours take any big four my friend this now have a separate division that deals with the ifrs you have various uk based or european based bpos kpos global business organization global finance organization being set up not only in india but across the globe across the apac as a region do you have a scope there if you really know what this is yes sir do you really want to doubt on the scope anymore if you really google it out i'm pretty sure your understanding would be very very different there now i would only say one thing that doing such a qualification or having such a you know i would say trait or or a knowledge or a qualification not only helps you of course getting the jobs that we just spoke on or of course open up the gateway of you know what you may have if you really get in over there but it certainly helps you have the edge my friend that not only helps in better promotion i would say a very different designation higher salaries new client base and this is something i really want to talk on to my practicing chartered accountants I have two of my friends who are really veteran in their practice and one is in Delhi and one is in Gurgaon I can tell you that of course not naming them but they of course are facing an issue right now at this point in time because many of their multinational clients are looking for the IFRS expertise they really need someone who can really help them in terms of you know of course one of course managing their IFRS compliances and two you should be able to understand what is there in their financial and tell them what is right and what is wrong so you being not being the only auditor there there are many people who are really looking at at their financials they expect you to really manage that and you being the practitioner you being the ca in practice should be able to understand that conceptualize that and give back them what they exactly need that can only happen my friend if you are aware of what these ifrs is and i can tell you these are not the difficult ones you already know a lot of stuff it is just that yeah that you really need to know as to what the ifrs is all about and you should be able to give back the client that kind of service that he needs at that point in time will he be able to pay you more for that absolutely you know why because he's not getting that in the market the only place he gets the ifrs practitioners or the ifrs 
known aware people is in big force no common or i would say mid size firms are having that as a competency can you not create an x factor there if you really have that knowledge if you really have that bent of mind can you not really open up a new stream of revenue for you that would be highly remunerating for you too because that is not something wherein you have a competition from your i would say the left and the right of the ca firms who would be offering the same service at a cheaper price you would not be facing that as a competition because you would be knowing something which many of the ca firms or many of the chartered accountants are not aware and you can command the price you can command the price of the knowledge that you have and of course sky is the limit is that not something that one should be really thinking about creating an x factor my friend is something you should always be thinking about before qualification after qualification after getting 10 clients after getting 100 clients after getting 1000 clients creating an x factor is something you should never be forget you know forgetting because if you forget the you know creation of the x factor for getting the new thing or getting something new you would get on to a stigma and that is something one should always avoid and that is something one should really look upon when one is looking at ifrs at this point in time remember my friend it is a brand it is a bandwagon which has not just pulled off right now at this point in time it is going to get pulled off you have to have to board that as soon as possible is that clear yes sir moving on to few of the companies i really really wanted to big you know build this slide and this slide i can tell you is just the resultant of the uh, ifrs jobs that i just typed in the google in the morning today i just typed ifrs jobs in the morning in the google and these all were the companies that were there that really showed that they really need the ifrs professionals and you would see various indian companies being there because these companies are of course having their businesses in those geographies in those area areas wherein the ifrs requirement is the prime concern is that not really motivating sir yes sir it is indeed my friend it is very motivating because you would see big time names over here which are really calling for the big time big time ifrs professionals at various levels so these are not the entry level positions if you really scan through the i would say the search that you would have you would realize that these are not just the entry level positions these all are positions at various levels across the organization is that clear yes sir very clear sir very motivating sir Moving on, why should a chartered accountant, a qualified chartered accountant, or a CA student should do an IFRS? Is that not something that is really troubling your stomach? Yes, sir. It really does, sir. And we don't have the solution, sir. नहीं समझ में आता है, sir. एक तो sir CA से फुर्सत नहीं मिलती है, sir. छुट पहले तो हमारा chartered accountant जिसके पास हम काम कर रहे हैं वो हमें छुट्टी नहीं देता है. किसी तरह से छुट्टी मिलती है, sir. तो paper दे देते हैं, sir. एक पेपर खत्म होते हैं सर तो रिजल्ट की इंतजार रहती है सर अब सर रिजल्ट आता है तो अगले की तैयारी करनी होती है सर सर कैसे करें कब होगा कैसे होगा फायदा भी होगा नहीं होगा एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ वी हैव द आंसर माय फ्रेंड मेनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी आंसर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो हाउ वुड दैट हेल्प यू आई वुड से वन इज दैट वन थिंग दैट यू शुड सर्टनली सर्टनली नो इज दैट इट इज द गेट वे माई फ्रेंड टू गेट इन टू द्लोबल फाइनेंस ये एक नॉर्मल फाइनेंस में रहने वाली पोजीशनिंग के लिए क्वालिफिकेशन नहीं है आप इसको करके बहुत सारी ग्लोबल कंपनीज में जा सकते हैं उनके साथ काम कर सकते हैं उनके साथ ग्रो कर सकते हैं इट वुड सर्टनली प्रोवाइड यू बेटर ग्रोथ अपॉर्चुनिटी एक चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट है जो कि सिर्फ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट है एक चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट है जो चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट है प्लस उसे आई की सर्टिफिकेशन भी है या आई जानता भी है या आई के बारे में उसको नॉलेज भी है Do you think it would have an additional value for an organization? Yes. And if he has the additional value, do you think he would be recognized by the companies? Absolutely yes. Do you think he would have a different growth path? Absolutely yes. Do you think he would have a better salary? Absolutely yes. Kaha hai doubt? Doubt sir ye hai ki sir main kya ye kar sakunga? Mere se hoga ye? 
हो पाएगा या नहीं पाएगा आएंगे उस पर भी आते हैं अभी एक चीज जो मुझे बिल्कुल और बिल्कुल डिस्कस करनी है वो ये कि ये आपको स्ट्रांग एच तो देता ही है अपने कॉम्पिटेटर से जो भी आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में होंगे आपको ग्लोबल जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज देता है बट एक प्रैक्टिसिंग चार्ट अकाउंटेंट के लिए ये एक नया क्लाइंट बेस भी ओपन करता है अगर आप एक प्रैक्टिसिंग चार्ट अकाउंटेंट हैं और आपके पास आई की नॉलेज है या आई डिलीवर करने की क्षमता है या आप अपनी प्रोफाइलिंग में ये दिखा सकते हैं कि आप आई प्रोफेशनल हैं और आपके पास आई प्रोफेशनल अपनी फर्म में हायर्ड भी हैं तो आपको काम भी वैसा ही मिलता है और ये काम जैसा कि मैंने कहा एक हाईली रेम्यूनरेटेड काम होता है एज कंपेयर टू दी अदर वर्क दैट यू डूइंग विच सर्टनली क्रिएट्स ए वेरी डिफरेंट वैल्यू फॉर योर सेल्फ डज दैट क्रिएट एन ऑल्टरनेटिव करियर अपॉर्चुनिटी वाइल डूइंग दी चार्ट अकाउंटेंसी मैं एक सी स्टूडेंट हूं मैं पढ़ाई कर रहा हूं मैं पेपर दे रहा हूं मैंने आईपीसीसी क्लियर कर लिया है या कर रहा हूं फाइनल क्लियर कर लिया है या कर रहा हूं हो सकता है सर अगर मैं अभी शुरू करता हूं आईएफआरएस को सीए के साथ तो क्या मुझे बेनिफिट मिलेगा सर बच्चे मैं ना हमेशा से इसको ऐसे समझता हूं और ऐसा समझाना भी चाहूंगा चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी के साथ क्वालिफिकेशन वो लो जो एक तो सीए के साथ कर सको बहुत अच्छी बात है सर आई सर अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड सर बिल्कुल सी के साथ कर सकते हैं दूसरा जिसके साथ आपको जब आप सीए क्वालिफाई हो जाए तो आपको फायदा मिल सके ऑफ कोर्स सर अगर मैं क्वालिफाई हो जाऊंगा और मेरे पास आई भी होगा तो मुझे फायदा मिलेगा बिल्कुल बिल्कुल बहुत अच्छी बात है तीसरी जो कि बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है बच्चे जो हर चार्ट अकाउंटेंसी स्टूडेंट के लिए समझनी जरूरी है वो ये कि जो भी काम करो बच्चे वो ऐसे करो कि अगर गॉड फॉरबेट सी ए क्लियर नहीं भी हुई तब भी जो आप आज कर रहे हो ना वो आपको फायदा जरूर दे उसमें भी आई को डबल क्लिक मिलता है बिकॉज इवन इफ गॉड फॉर बेट योर सी एज नॉट क्लियर फॉर वॉट सेवर रीजन एंड यू हैव द आई एफ आर एस क्वालिफिकेशन बी अटैच टू यू यू वुड सर्टनली बी रिकग्नाइज इन द मार्केट You as a CA, IPCC would not have that recognition in the market, but you, being the IFRS professional, would have a very different standing in the market. If you doubt on that, just go on to the Google and check on it. Please check on it. You would see a very, very different understanding, my friend. And that is something every chartered accountancy student has to understand. He has to do something. along with the ca that can secure his profession that can secure his future if if god forbid his ca is not cleared he should have something to look upon and this is one of the avenue my friend that would give you flavor that would give you a standing that would give you i would say a platform to really build on in the longer period of time or kyunki ca ke sath ho sakta hai तो आपकी सीए को ये हैम्पर भी नहीं करता है इज एंड दैट समथिंग रियली ग्रेट और एक चीज और विच आई रियली वॉन्ट टॉक ऑन टू दी सी ए स्टूडेंट इज कि बच्चे एग्जाम तो दे दिया है घर पे बैठे हुए हो रिजल्ट का इंतजार कर रहे हो तो भाई तीन महीने चार महीने जो हैं कुछ कर लो अच्छा कुछ ऐसा कर लो जो शायद आने वाले टाइम में छह महीने सात महीने साल में आपके लिए डबल रिटर्न लेके आए और ये चीज शायद उसी की तरफ आपको लेके जाती है कि ये एक वहां आपको बेनिफिट प्रोवाइड कर सकता है यू नो व्हाट इज द बिगेस्ट आई वुड से वरी दैट आई हैव दैट मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स एट टाइम्स दे आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ दीज अपॉर्चुनिटीज जस्ट बिकॉज दे आर क्लोज इन देयर माइंड कि नहीं पहले ये पहले ये पहले ये पहले वो बहुत अच्छी बात है बट मैं पहले या दूसरे की तो बात ही नहीं कर रहा मैं तो साथ की बात कर रहा हूं कोई चीज अगर आप साथ कर सकते हो तो उसको बिल्कुल और बिल्कुल मिस करना नहीं चाहिए एंड दैट इज समथिंग आई रियली वॉन्ट टू हाईलाइट हो गया इज दैट क्लियर यस सर मैंने फोटोज बहुत अच्छी पेश करवाई है यहां पे जस्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट यू गेट दी फील कि देखो अगर बच्चा आई एफ करता है तो वो कितना खुश नजर आता है इज एंड दैट क्लियर यस सर आई इज देर इज एनी सर्टिफिकेशन नीडेड अब बच्चे ये इतना सवाल कई बच्चों के मन में आता है कि सर मेरे को तो आई एफ आर एस आता है सर मैं जिस कंपनी में काम करता था सर उसने मुझे रेवेन्यू रिकग्निशन सर एस पर एस पर आई एफ आर एस सिखा दिया सर मैंने दो कंपनीज का सर रेवेन्यू रिकग्निशन किया हुआ है सर एस पर आई एफ आर एस सर सर मैंने लीज अकाउंटिंग की हुई है सर एस पर आई एफ आर एस है सर मुझे आपको लगता है सर मुझे डिग्री की जरूरत है क्यों नहीं है बच्चे क्यों नहीं है जो आपने काम किया हुआ वो सी पर नजर आ जाएगा 
आप सी पे दिखा दोगे आपको लगता है वो सी पे काउंट होगा आपका जो आपने काम किया हुआ है सिर्फ वो काम तब काउंट होगा बेटे अगर आपके पास ऐसी कोई सर्टिफिकेशन होगी जो उस काम को डबल या ट्रिपल तरीके से आपको दिखाने का मौका देगी जो आपने काम किया हुआ है वो आपको बिल्कुल और बिल्कुल हेल्प करेगा इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू डूइंग द वर्क द वे यू हैव बीन डूइंग द वर्क एंड ऑफ कोर्स द वे यू वुड डू द वर्क बट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट इन टू द लाइम लाइट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द एम ऑफ द बिग फोर्स एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ यू हैव टू हैव सम सर्टिफिकेशन बींग अटैच टू यू दैट वुड एड ए वेरी डिफरेंट वैल्यू एंड दैट वुड गिव यू ए वेरी डिफरेंट पेडिग्री टू रियली बी देर एंड रियली बी देर फॉर दैम and that is the reason my friend you certainly need to have some certification being done for the ifrs that would help you in terms of having that pedigree in terms of having that understanding in terms of having that placement for yourself that would give you a very different limelight and that is the reason my friend these certifications are certainly important one is of course the certificate in ifrs that is a that is a i would say one exam kind of a thing you can get a certificate in ifrs another one is diploma in ifrs which is again called dip ifr and the third one is the full fledged acca which certainly gives you an edge in terms of you knowing the ifrs at large but i can tell you one thing one thing that is very common is that certificate in ifrs is being chosen by the folks who have done ifrs at length in various organizations who just do not need i would say uh end to end ifrs understanding however because certificate in ifrs at times really do not get into that kind of a detail dip ifr certainly gives you a detailed understanding of ifrs and not only one or two but all of the ifrs is that are being relevant for the organization at large that is the reason dip ifrs is something which is very very commonly chosen by the student to be the one that they would need to be added on on to their cv only one exam is there for certificate in ifrs and of course one exam is there for the dip in dip ifrs we have 13 exams that are there in the acca of course depending upon where you are in your chartered accountancy you are eligible for various exemptions and i really want to talk on over here just to give you some flavor of it if you are a chartered accountancy student and you have qualified your ipcc सी ए आई पी सी सी क्वालिफाई कर लिया बच्चे तो अगर आपने सी ए आई पी सी सी क्वालिफाई कर लिया तो इन तेरह एग्जाम्स के अंदर से आपको सात एग्जाम्स नहीं देने होते हैं यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गिव दिवन एग्जाम्स यू आर ओनली गोइंग टू गिव दिक्स एग्जाम्स इफ यू हैव क्लियर योर सी ए आई पी सी सी एंड एंड ऑफकोर्स मैन आई से सी आई पी सी सी इट इज सी आई पी सी सी प्लस बी कॉम बिकॉज आई एम प्रिज्यूमिंग दैट यू वुड हैव टन योर बी कॉम एंड बच्चे अगर किसी भी किसी भी तरह से आपने सी ए फाइनल दिया और सी ए फाइनल में किसी भी सब्जेक्ट में फोर्टी प्लस आ गए बट ग्रुप क्लियर नहीं हुआ तो आपका वो एग्जाम भी एग्जाम हो जाता है तो एट मैक्स यू कैन गेट अप टू नाइन एग्जिमशन इफ यू आर ए सी ए फाइनल स्टूडेंट एंड हैव गॉट फोर्टी प्लस मार्क्स इन सम ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट विच आर गिविंग यू एग्जामेशन एंड ऑफकोर्स ओनली लिविंग दी फोर एग्जाम्स टू बी गिवन एट दी प्रोफेशनल लेवल ये करके भी आप ए सी सी क्वालिफाई कर सकते हैं अगेन to cut the long story short what i'm trying to say is that these are the three gateways to become an ifrs professional one of the most commonly chosen gateway of really having the right amount of knowledge and right flair and of course right recognition in the market is diploma in ifrs you know i would say that is again called dip ifr one can really choose on dip ifr and of course go forward to it and of course be there as the ifrs professional is that clear yes sir now coming on to again the list of the question i think i really answered all of that i really wanted to cover you know all of these questions just to give you a flavor my friend that how would that help you one thing that i have not categorically answered which i really wanted to cover up over here is what is the similarity between the indas and the ifrs i can tell you indas is nothing but the uh i would say indas is nothing but the kid of an ifrs it has in many of the things being taken up from the ifrs so you would find many similarities between the ifrs and the indas because many of the standards are nothing but uh, to an extent being being taken up what is being there in the ifrs that is certainly there but they have customized the same to the indian context hence there is a difference 
whatever that number is, 5, 7, 10, 15 percent, there is certainly a difference, but that's not pure, pure IFRS per se. Again, as I said, they have been taken from the IFRS, so you would certainly find the similarities. Would doing IFRS can help you doing NDS or vice versa? Answer is absolutely yes. It would certainly help. You have to cover up the, the, the differences. You have to cover up the changes, which if you are a CA student and you have already covered the NDS, it makes hell lot easier for you because you are, I would say you know the 80%. You have to cover up the remaining 20% and be there for the purpose of giving that exam. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now coming on to the last piece that I really wanted to have my friend, that is the Q&A. If there is anything that I have not been able to take up or not been able to pick up from the question standpoint, I'll be super happy my friend to really pick up and start answering that. All right, I have the list over here. Okay. What is the difference between the third IFRS and DIP IFRS? I, I think I briefly touched upon that. Third IFRS is a, I would say, is a baby version of the, of the DIP IFRS. In third IFRS, you get the multiple choice question in the exam. It's a one hour exam. In DIP IFRS, you certainly get a full fledged question and it is a diploma course, right? You, after getting the, you know, DIP, after doing the DIP IFRS, you, you effectively get a diploma from ACCA that you are a diploma holder in IFRS which is being recognized by various corporates. It's a three hour, 15 minute exam, having four questions of 25 marks each. And that is a full fledged, uh, I would say, financial reporting uh, paper. That'll give you a consolidation flavor. Con that'll give you a group accounting. That'll give you a um, different, different IFRSs that are being asked and so on and so forth. I've just given my CA final exam in December 2021 attempt and I'm waiting for my result. So can I prepare for DIP IFRS in these two to three months? Ideally, I would say ideally DIP IFRS preparation really needs three to four months of time frame. Anything lesser than that is not fair. You would need at least three to four months to really be, I would say 100% prepared for it. Exam happens in June and December for DIP IFR. The next exam is in June 2022. So if you uh, take on DIP IFR right now at this point in time. By June, I think you'll certainly be there. And of course, you can attempt your next exam in, in May any which ways. And certainly after that, you can really go for the DIP IFR. So answer would be yes, but it is not two to three months. It is three to four months. Sir, India may to in AS applicable hai na. Bilkul India mein in AS applicable hai, but kya sirf in AS salta hai? Nahi. आपको बहुत सारा और कुछ जाना होता है जब भी आप कंपनी के अंदर जाएंगे आप फील भी करेंगे इस चीज को आपको कहीं ना कहीं कहीं ना कहीं ग्लोबल अकाउंटेंट स्टैंडर्ड अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड के साथ तो डील करना ही पड़ेगा एंड दैट इज वेयर हैविंग ए ग्लोबल टेंच सर्टेनली हेल्प्स व्हिच टू चूज बिटवीन सर्ट आईएफआर एंड डिप आईएफआर एंड व्हिच इज बेटर बिटवीन द टू यू हैव टू डिसाइड माय फ्रेंड यू नो आई थिंक सर्ट आईएफआर एज आई सेड इज नॉट फुल फ्लेजेड आईएफआरएस under it does not provide you detailed understanding as dip ifrs does and from the recognition standpoint in the market dip ifr has more or a better recognition than cert ifr but again you need to decide what is right for you sir approximate how many companies in india have adopted ifrs i you know i, I would say something like this that you should uh, you should there is no figure that is public right now that can really tell you that how many companies have adopted IFRS. But all I can tell you is that companies which have existence outside India, which are bound to do the IFRS accounting, IFRS accounting in those geographies in which they are outside India, they have started adopting IFRSs, including some of the big names like the LNT, like the Wipros of the world and so on and so forth. How much salary uh, after the DIP IFRS? <laughs> I would say, you know, it, it really depends on, uh, you know, what are you drawing right now at this point in time? And it also depends on what is your, uh, uh, I would say, what is your skill set right now at this point in time? Let's say you are a BCom graduate. Let's say you do the DIP IFR and you do not have any CA background. Will you have any uh anyone being picking you up in the big four answer would be yes 
how much salary they would offer generally if you are a bcom only bcom graduate and you are a dip ifr qualified student they might hire you as an intern to, to start with and then they'll take on and of course explore you you would explore the organization and they'll build on and you will go on from there but if you are a chartered accountant qualified student or a you know ca qualified a candidate and then you do do a dip ifr your salary can be very very different from there if you are a cipcc student and you do a dip ifr along with that your growth prospects can be very different let's say you are at the 5 lakh of salary as a cipcc candidate in an organization and you have a dip ifr being added on to you your growth prospect of becoming a senior there in that organization really increases and of course your salary will also increase the same way cost of all you know cost details eligibility details you know all of that we would certainly give you all of that details in the description box of this video you can just go and check on that and we'll be happy to you know uh, take it on from there if there is any question my friend that you may have in addition to what we have just spoken on and i'll just have a quick look again if there is any question that you may have you can post that in the comment box of this video we'll be happy to provide the answer there is a lot that we are doing in the description box of this video not only from the standpoint of giving you the detailed understanding of the course but also to give you a detailed perspective of what the dip ifrs would be what the cert ifr would be there are some blogs that we have really written up over there we would be giving all of that in the description box just go and check that out and if there is any concern please do not do not hesitate to really contact us we'll be happy to provide you answer for each and every concern that you may have मैं एक ही चीज कहूंगा बच्चे एंड में जो आप सबको और सबको समझने की जरूरत है वो ये कि हम सबको एक एज तो चाहिए वो एज चाहिए अपने नेबर से अपने साथ के कॉम्पिटेटर से अपने साथ वाले फ्रेंड से हम सबको एक एज चाहिए टू ग्रो बेटर एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज क्वालिफिकेशन ऑल ऑफ दीज सर्टिफिकेशन सर्टनली गिव्स यू द एज एंड दीज ऑल आर समथिंग दैट इज बींग पॉसिबल Along with your chartered accountancy, और इसीलिए यह बहुत relevant हो जाता है हमारे लिए कि हम इनकी तरफ right step, right point in time पर लें जितना जल्दी हम समझेंगे कि नहीं चीजें change हो रही हैं और जो चीजें change हो रही हैं वो पांच साल में कुछ और नजर आएंगी उनके लिए मैं आज step ले लूं मैं उतना जल्दी grow करूंगा अगर मैंने यू एस सी पी ए आज करी होती तो शायद मुझे वो ग्रोथ नहीं मिली होती बट मैंने यू एस सी पी ए टू थाउजेंड फाइव सिक्स में करी तो मेरी ग्रोथ बहुत डिफरेंट थी दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम बिकॉज आई समेयर रियलाइज कि यू एस गैप इज गॉन बी प्रोमिनेंट एट सम पॉइंट इन टाइम आई समेयर रियलाइज दैट आई एफ आर एस इज गॉन बी प्रोमिनेंट एट सम पॉइंट इन टाइम इसलिए मैंने आई एफ आर एस किया इसलिए मैंने यू एस गैप किया यू हैव टू थिंक फ्यूचर यू हैव टू थिंक हाउ थिंग्स आर प्रोग्रेसिंग हाउ थिंग्स आर मूविंग टेकिंग राइट स्टेप एट राइट पॉइंट इन टाइम is super 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 important and whosoever would do it would certainly have the edge would certainly have a very growth plan very different growth plan and that is something one should never forget is that clear yes sir but having said that koi bhi aur doubt hai koi bhi aur concern hai koi bhi aur query hai to comment box hai na fatafat se jao comment box mein likho description mein bahut sari detail mil rahi hai usko dekho हमें कॉल लगाओ कोई क्वेरी है कोई कंसर्न है आर यू नो टीम इज देयर टू हेल्प यू टू रिजॉल्व ऑल योर कंसर्न एंड विल बी हैप्पी टू प्रोवाइड यू एनी गाइडेंस दैट यू मे नीड कोर्स के लिए रजिस्टर करना है तो उसकी डिटेल भी गिवन है आप फटाफट से रजिस्टर करो जून 2022 में एग्जाम है तैयारी फटाफट से शुरू करो चलते हैं आगे दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू कवर इन दिस सेशन माई फ्रेंड आई होप यू लाइक डेट आई होप यू लाइक दिस सेशन अगर लाइक like करते हो या लाइक करा है तो फटाफट से लाइक का बटन जरूर दबा देना और हम मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट सेशन में वेर एन विल पिक अप समथिंग डिफरेंट समथिंग मोर टू वैल्यू एड ऑन यू टिल देन दिस पंकज डिंगरा साइनिंग